Yo, hey guys, coming at you with a One Punch Man review. Just came back from school, tired, a little bit hungry, and a lot of homework to do, obviously. But, um, uh, I, I, I want to get hyped, but I, I just don't, I can't. I don't have, like, the energy to get hyped. Now I'm lying. I'm lying. I got so much energy to get fucking hyped for this show. Because it's fucking one punch, man. It, oh, my God. Like, I don't even... I, where to start? Let, let's get the boring stuff out the way. Like, characterization. Who the fuck needs characterization in a damn story? And if you can't tell I'm joking from that, you need to be stupid. But, yeah, let's get to the... I guess the story stuff, the character stuff, and then we get into the hype, like the fucking, and all the craziness that goes on in One Punch Man. But all right, so um, basically, what happens in One Punch Man is that we're being told a story about a hero, this everyday guy who wanted to be a hero. He became a hero through training, persevering, and you know, overall determination. And then, like, he did what he wanted. He became a hero. He gained the power to be a st or to be regarded as a hero, but the the I guess the drawback is he no longer or he no longer have like a drive anymore. Like he reached a goal. Matter of fact, he excelled his goal to the point where it's just like he's too good at what he do. Because um, if you haven't noticed, the title is One Punch Man, and it literally applies to. The main character, Saitama, who, I, who I've been talking about and I should have mentioned, and, and I should have mentioned first, but, you know, mistakes. One take, one take. So, um, yeah, so Saitama, he reached his goal and he became the One Punch Man. He beats everybody, literally everybody and anything in One Punch. And that's just boring, that's uninteresting. Like, he's losing his humanity in a sense where things are no longer like relevant to him like he doesn't get angry he doesn't get mad he doesn't really feel pleasure or joy like my phone wasn't up he doesn't feel pleasure and joy like he would regularly do like when he wasn't this super powered or overpowered superhero and it really is taking a toll on him because now he don't even know like what he should do in life anymore since everything could literally be solved in like one punch so that's just how the story is mold. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've already been reading the manga before I've been watching the anime, and this is like a quintessential little flaw in One Punch Man that I've noticed, like in the future, I guess, in the future of the series, but let's not get into that. We're getting into the episode one hype. Now, character aside, that's just Saitama, in a nutshell. He's just a character that's contemplating whether or not the choice that he made was really the choice that he wanted to really make. Well, he did want it to be a superhero, but at the same time, when he did become a superhero and he underwent all the training and gotten the strength that he has now to be a superhero, like, he doesn't know if it was really worth it to lose what he had to become what he is. That's Saitama in a nutshell. So, let's get on to the villains and the story. The story is basically simple. It's, a, it's like the sandbox world for Saitama. Or that's how it portrays it as in episode one, where you just have Saitama, you have villains, and then Saitama fight villains. That's how episode one is molded in. Like, you, you Saitama, villains, Saitama fight villains. Like, that's, 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 that's like the whole episode one in like a, like a nutshell. And then, um, we do get to see like how the world, or how the world reacts, or how the world cater to heroes and stuff like that. Not too much, but you do see that, you know, there are other heroes besides Saitama, so you can obviously tell that there are like established heroes in the verse or anything in the verse and stuff like that. So I don't know what episode are we gonna actually go into depth on um, these other heroes because episode one focused on Saitama, the main character, which it should. So I don't know if we're gonna go into depth about any of the other heroes, but yeah, there are other heroes. Saitama's not the only hero. And um, we might get to see them in future episodes as, as much as when it comes to the world that they actually, you know, explain because more or less 
Um, the other character is like a human character, but more or less fodder. And then when it comes to like the news people that, you know, portray news on TV, they're just mostly info dumping stuff like, oh, this enemy's over there, or oh, Saitama beat this enemy, or um, warning, warning, you know, stuff like that. Like warning, um, enemy is coming your way, um, gigantic enemy, or something like that. That they mostly just info dump. Yeah, so now, <laughs> my favorite part, my favorite part of the episode was the fighting like oh my the fighting was so crazy i mean it was so crazy you have saitama because in this um on episode one you had to see him fight four people and no you got to see him fight the crab dude I think I think it was like four to like five people you get to see him fight or something like that. And oh my like the way how he beats them was just crazy. Well alright, Saitama versus like the crab dude was just eh, you know, he had to do what he had to do to win. He he he, he 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 kind of turned him into like a lobster dip or something like that. Like like fried lobster. Like he just like baked them or he just ripped out his intestines and he can like live in that lobster. It was, it was a weird thing. It was a weird, weird thing. But yeah. But that was Saitama during like his backstory when he fought like the crab lobster dude. But when he became a like, one punch man and the fight that he had as one punch man, oh my god. Oh my god. It was cause it was so crazy. Like vaccine man was kind of boring. It was just literally one punch. Then um, then the giant, the the strongest dude in the world, strongest dude, the dude that regarded himself as the strongest dude in the world. Like, I like that fight a little bit because those those flurry of punches was crazy. Like he was like, because he accidentally killed his brother. Then because Saitama was on his shoulder, his brother on his other shoulder was like, oh, kill the dude on your shoulder, and then the dude accidentally kills his brother like he seriously just should have looked before and he's like why the fuck why the f like come on all right all right you have two shoulders and the serum didn't make him stupid it, it didn't but why didn't he just look on his shoulder to to know that saitama was here and not here and killing his brother by accident i would have killed myself if i accidentally killed my brother that's stupid that's stupid. He just that was just dumb. That was dumb. But you know, fuck it. It's like Tom. No one cares. Like the villains, fuck the villains. It, it doesn't matter. But it was crazy. I'm just like, oh my god. Like the flurry of punches he was throwing at Saitama because he blames Saitama for killing his brother, even though that was his retarded ass mistake. And then it was just mind blowing. And then Saitama just tanked. Apparently, he tanked all of that shit. And then he just hit the dude with with, with the one punch. And I'm just like, is it, what? <laughs> it was crazy. It was so crazy. But the my, the best part of the whole episode, of the whole episode, has to be when Saitama was fighting. I have to put on the quotes because, like, well, well, fuck it. I guess I'll, I'll throw in some spoilers because I'm assuming you guys already watched the episode. That's why you're watching this review. So Saitama is dreaming, right? And he's dreaming about like these subterranean enemies and oh my god the freaking hype behind those subterranean enemies it was like like these dudes straight up came up to dude's house and was just messing shit up and then one dude just like sucker punched saitama and then you saw the blood coming out of saitama it's like wow wow Wow, this is not, like, what's going on? Saitama is not a man that simply bleeds red blood. Like, he does not, he is not that type of man that you see bodily fluids exit his body. That's how OP he is. And then you see Saitama, like, like with the lip, like, he has that glare. Like, he, he has the glare that I'm ready to go and I'm ready to fight. And I'm touching my keyboard. I'm ready to go and I'm ready to fight. And I love that so much. And then the fight scene when all of the subterraneans were just ganging up on him. He was just counterattacking. He was just poking. He was just throwing dudes here and there. I'm like, oh my god. 
Oh my god, this dude is crazy. Saitama is the bro. Oh man, I can see this anime getting big. I can see the fandom. Like, oh man. One bad, like, one bad thing about One Punch Man, you already see the fanboys, you know, clicking on the keyboards, going in, going looking for, like, dirt on the person, talking shit just to destroy them on the internet. Like, I can tell this manga, I mean, yeah, this anime is going to get so big, it's going to get so popular. But at the same time, I could, I could understand why certain people will find it, like, kind of corny and just lackluster, because it kind of, it kind of is. Like, if you have a world with a guy that can literally beat anything in one punch, Where's like the drama? Where's like the, you know, uh, comment. I mean, I mean, message. Like, where's the drama? Where's like the the thrill of seeing your main character go through a certain type of struggle and overcoming that struggle? Because Saitama can't go through something like that because he's already as strong as he is. And that's like what I want to talk about later on. But I'm not gonna go too into depth about like my personal gripe with um, One Punch Man. But yeah oh my god i think i covered all the points so far but jesus just ah oh, one punch man was a really good show like I, I really liked it like overall like i recommend you guys watch it see it for yourself if you haven't see it for yourself but wow if you're already at this part of the video you, you pretty much got like completely spoiled but like it doesn't matter just go see it for yourself because you know everybody has different perspectives on different things when it comes to seeing it so see it for yourself um, see if you like it for yourself and see if it would be one of those series that you would possibly continue But yeah overall I really liked the episode episode one was really good. It was enjoyable It wasn't the most deep and impactful episode that Ever but you know it was still something that you could just sit down and enjoy and yeah I liked it and I had fun watching it Yeah, so if I was to give it a rating mm, I really don't like number scores, so I'm just gonna say it's really great. It's good It's decent and I recommend you guys watch it, so I'll catch you guys later.